All right, everybody, you know, uh, the recent wildfires burning across Northern California are among some of the deadliest and most destructive in the state's history. But amidst all of the devastation, you're about to hear a really inspiring story of survival, all thanks to a very stubborn but loyal dog. Please welcome Odin and his owners, Roland and Ariel Hindle. Come here, buddy. All right. Come here, boy. Yeah, take your time. Boy. Sit down. <laughs> All right. So, folks, let's, let's talk about this. You just lost your house in these wildfires. How fast and unexpected were they? The fire uh, advanced at a rate of about a football field every three seconds. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm sure you could do the math very quickly and yeah. tell us. So you have a lot of animals on your property. What did you do to save them? Well, my dad woke me up and he gave me instructions to load up all the animals and myself in the car because we had to bolt in less than five minutes. And we managed to get Odin's sister in the car. As Ariel was loading up Tessa, I went to get Odie. Um, the winds were, had gone mad by then. Um, and it was clear that there was not going to be time to hitch up a trailer. The goats had all gathered in sort of a small circle. As I approached, he sat down and squared himself. And, looked me straight in the eye to sort of say, I got this. And, uh, and I knew, you know, I knew there was no way I was going to drag him away or, or, or be able to load up the goats. OK, so you drive off, and then you were finally able to go back home. H how much later? Well, we made it back the next day. I drove down my road, and I got to where we would see our house, and it wasn't there. This is your house before and after? Yes. So you drive up, and then what? Out in the field, I could see the little dots, the little black and white and brown dots of, of the goats. And then I could make out Odie's tail wagging. So what was your reaction when you discovered he was alive? I was sobbing at this point. I could not believe they were OK. And uh, Odie came running up. He was clearly beaten up. And he was looking at me to say, I've been such a good boy. Look what a good boy I am. So he no. saved all the animals. He saved all the animals. That's an incredible thought. We were, uh, we were so uh, touched by your story that we want to help in just a small way. So our friends over at uh, Chewy.com want to give Odin and all of his furry friends a year's supply of pet food and treats. Did you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's fantastic. And on behalf of the show, We'd like to give you all five thousand dollars to kind of help out. <laughs> Thanks, baby. It's gonna help. And uh, we have an additional surprise for Odin because he's been such a hero. We thought we'd treat him to a porterhouse steak. Ooh. Look at that! Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> maybe later. Yeah, I guess he don't like porterhouse, so he don't. <laughs> I think uh, he's more of a ribeye dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he's a vegan. <laughs> he's a vegan. And I think that's perfectly fine, because we love vegans on this show. <laughs>